So Dex already paid the maelstromers for the corporal bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast Den. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. It's had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow. God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something. How they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Oh, just mean us, chica. In the middle of town. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel's better. My favorite. Subtle. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You will deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0 D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Uh, well, shit. Goes for you, too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down for a planet Jack, bullet in your Sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but. Shit. Well, alright. Come on. Gotta lighten up. Take a hit. 
thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. The flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm hmm Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Brick got it. Uh. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice, because I say you'll pay twice. All right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> and he ain't dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So, I'm gonna consider my offer now? Bang. Bring it, cocksuckers! Cut me a rat! Unload all of these! Cut loose! Where'd they go, Rod? To set, bot and controller. Then let's go. The quicker the better. Let's get out of here. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really no other way.
and here I am.
One good shot and we're done!
No begging, no debt, no corpo strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Tough to argue. Yeah, because I'm right. Always. Nice of you to notice. Ah, I love this town. A city of endless opportunity. And brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones, and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bullet, stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street will talk. The street will remember. So win win. What now, Jack? What now? And now I go back. Find Misty. We do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Risks come with the job, Jack. <sighs> Ducked in time to avoid death's sweeping sight again. Only right to celebrate. Even though we get to do that lots. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Ahí lo veo. Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the Corpo woman? Did it without Militech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Miss V. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck.
Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get in through the front. Ha, huh, get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. If someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no copping feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Kiss my dead spunk! Get you something. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Hello. So, what can Nothing's a wrong. girl like Nothing's really? wrong. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I no just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul, Trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say... Kompeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka. 
In Night City? Huh. Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Empress prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, Nomads, from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes. Because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Don't make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Diving in in three, two, one. All right, B, eyes open. Gotta find out where you're know who's keeping the relic. You look like a kind of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for good cause. But, uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important.
Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling? Servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. That's... Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. System is all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special temp-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip.
悪い子め。I miss this. You. I know. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Right. Tim's Grab too low. Heat could fluctuate. Matches the spec nice of the dogs. You're in like he's got the case here. Guaranteed. In this project, mm -hmm. he we got it. Good work. My father Looks like we got tired. everything we need. Visual Put out of the editor. Who thinks nothing will change. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? Think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Things looking, Miss V. I'll do whatever I can to fix it. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. Uh-huh. 
We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Uh-huh. Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. Yeah. And she's right.